can something that looks so good cause me so much grief? Well, I guess it's time to go see how badly I did. <laughs> how much overhang is there? Oh, great. God, these iron heads are heavy. Go. Oh. Aluminum ones. Oh, don't move on the engine stand. Ugh. Wish this thing had like brakes on it or something. We'll get in there. Alright. Okay. Yep. Ah. Ah, safety bolts. I need safety bolts. Alright. this up now. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. I can't believe my eyes right now. I could have, I measured, I measured, you all saw it, last video, I measured this stuff out, it was not an insignificant amount of, you know, the old gasket was quite larger than the actual cylinder bore, we all saw it, we all saw it, we all saw how close the exhaust bell, or the exhaust chamber was, right, last time, Oh, I guess you might not. No, yeah, you did. You did. I am so flabbergasted right now. Check this out. It's going to be hard for you to see. But that is completely flush. There is zero overhang at all. It might look like it just a little bit up there, but no. It is literally flush. I did it. I, I don't know how, but I literally ported that chamber the exact right specification. Like I could not have gone even a speck further than what I did on either side. It is literally perfect. How is that possible? But, I think I noticed something here that uh, this engine block the well, let me show you okay because I, I think I lucked out because I put the head on the driver's side I think if I would have put the head on the other side I would have never realized this revelation that I just had when I was looking at the passenger side before when I realized, oh shoot, I might have messed up. We'll take a look. The exhaust is so close on that side, right? And I have a little bit of meat left on the intake. But if we uh, swap over to the other side, you will quickly notice now there's a lot of meat on the exhaust side and very little meat on the intake side. So basically, the chambers are biased to the back of the block, regardless of which side it's on. On the passenger side, or the driver's side, we have more meat on the exhaust to play with. But on the driver's side, there's very little meat on the exhaust. I want to try something. Let's flip these heads around and see if I'm still in the clear, because I don't think I'm going to be. Okay, never mind. It is not the block that has the shift in it. It's the cylinder heads themselves. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. But for the life of me, I can't figure out w where or how. I, I don't... Everything, everything is lining up exactly the same with each other but you, you, 
I'm not the only one who saw, right? On this side, the exhaust looked way tighter than on that side, right? I, I didn't just imagine that, did I? Or, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Literally, I am like beating my head in trying to figure this out. Exact same place, exact same measurement. Bam, measurement. Yep. These, these heads are literally pretty much identical. Where, where's the shift? Yeah, I, I don't get that. The head's on the passenger side now and there again. Meat on the intake and no meat on the exhaust. I, I don't, how, why? Yeah, I really gotta figure this out because if I'm gonna be porting it to the outer limits here, I, I kinda need to know, you know? Okay, so I, I guess I don't know how it works. Just that it does. It's probably super simple and I'm just overlooking it right now. It's normally how it goes, but for life me, I cannot figure out why this head has more meat on the exhaust and this head has more meat on the intake when you put them on the block. I, I don't... Well, you want to see what I did to the exhaust port? Obviously, I am nowhere near, you know, completed with this whole thing. I, I brought the head back home to check it on the block to, you know, just out of curiosity, right? But so far, this is what I got with the exhaust. I am currently working on trying to just make this whole ramp smooth. I'm getting rid of this bump, right? Big, nasty bump there. Also, this corner here is just not, you know, it's not square, it's, it's weird. So I'm trying to get that corner more square. As a matter of fact, I'm actually trying to widen the top here because I want more area inside, because this is a small port, so I want more area, but I don't want to do it down here because that's, you know, the short side you're not supposed to do anything with, I guess. So I'm trying to enlarge in this top here and get the area up here where it's actually being used. Um, so yeah, I've been working away at that. Yeah, this is funky. I, I wonder how that affects, you know, I wonder if people have ever tried plugging that up before. Thank you, cold air. You, you come in clutch whenever I need you. As soon as the camera comes on. So. I think I'm going to eliminate this uh, valve guide boss here. There, there's, I mean, there's plenty of meat there. I think just getting rid of it's going to be okay. I'm not going to get rid of this. I'll just come and taper this one up and just reduce it as much as I can, possibly. We'll see. We'll see. I know people want to leave these in here and just taper them up and stuff, but I, I really feel like with the exhaust especially, it's it's not doing anything, really. I mean, there's there's no real point to it. Um, so all of that's got to be done. Uh, I worked on, where is it? Yeah, that side right here. It's like this big bump. Uh, yeah, right there. You see that? big bump there so i'm trying to work that out best i can i just merely touched that and i need to get an exhaust gasket because i feel like i can bring this roof up uh this tube is the only thing that i think is running along here i don't think there's any water this close to the you know surface here so I feel like I can really bring this up and level this approach out. I mean, if I bring the roof up, I'm going to expose more of the direct shot. See what I mean? So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing here. Um, 
I got some valves here. Let's just put a valve in each of these. I was messing around with this too. Just kind of checking this out. Oh, come here. There. Okay, so that's it with the valve. Now, we did not have a valve job done at all on this, right? Uh, I'm waiting to actually do a valve job until I'm done with the porting, just in case I happen to nick this seat at all. They'll, you know, we'll get it redone after the fact. But take a look. I mean, we got rid of this ridge here. I, I don't know what the, this machining ridge, I guess, for the seat, maybe. Got rid of that. So that's all smooth now. There's still a little bit up here, but I wasn't too concerned up here because, well, the air is coming this way, not this way. Right? So I got rid of that. We can't, you know, convex this out a bit. So there's plenty of room around the valve when it first opens to get some air out of there, right? Up here it was a little narrower, got that ridge, you know, a lot harder for air to make its way out. Okay. The exhaust right here is where I spent most of my time, right? You know, because the exhaust has to come and make this 90 degree turn down and then try to get in right because otherwise it's just you know flat with this ridge here so i leveled this ridge out gave it more room here right so now the exhaust has a much easier time getting in i mean that versus you know that might not be a huge difference but i feel like it's you know it's got to do something, right? It's got to do something. So by all means, if you uh, if you know why the castings on the well, it's got to be on the heads because you swap the heads from bank to bank, and you know this head has more has more meat on the exhaust side here, less on the intake. The other head has less on the exhaust and more on the intake. So I, I don't understand that really at all. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to know because if I'm going to be doing, you know, making the perfect, man, I still cannot believe that they came out perfect. Literally, you could not have gone a hair, a literal human hair further. Otherwise, it would have been alleged there. I, I still can't. Anyways, if I'm going to do that with all of them, you know, I gotta figure this out because it, it there's clearly a discrepancy. Unless it's just my eyes, but no, you, you guys see it too, right? You, you gotta see it. Um, I mean, possibly I could get in there, just put it on the actual block itself, right? I could maybe put it on this block and reach underneath here and maybe scribe a line out somehow in the actual bore that way I know. Probably be the most accurate way, but I don't know. We'll see. That's it for now. Oh, well, I didn't even show this. My tunnel ram. I cleaned it, you know. Not a very good job at it. Just, just really roughly, roughly cleaned it with some uh, oven cleaner. That's a little shinier, though. I think I'm gonna get this powder coated. The other, the Edelbrock air gap is powder coated gray and that looks really nice. So I might have that done to it. Just, you know, powder coated gray. We'll see. That's it for now. I'll catch you next time. 6% eat your heart out. My luck strikes once again, damn it. You know, I could I could give you some if you need it. Uh -huh.